Senator Patrick Brazeau will be officially forced on leave this week and his expense account frozen after he was charged with two counts of assault. The case of the now independent senator has sparked renewed calls for more accountability in the unelected upper chamber. But as Global National Shirley Engel reports, like anything on Parliament Hill, politics are involved. Despite the charges against Patrick Brazo, if found guilty, his expulsion from the Senate isn't so cut and dry. Oh, 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 oh. Though the former Tory will be forced on a leave of absence Tuesday, only conviction of indictable offenses, those that carry a sentence of over two years, would result in an automatic boot from the upper chamber. Brazo's charges are summary offenses, a maximum penalty of six months for assault and 18 months for sexual assault. Senators would have to pass a resolution to expel him, a power rarely used. The government, however, can, if it feels that its image is really tarred by this, ask its senators to act, then they probably would. Either way, that kind of action is months, if not years, away as his case moves through the courts. In the meantime, the Tories remain on damage control. On the West Block with Tom Clark, the government House leader wouldn't call appointing Brazo a mistake. You should keep in mind that he was, of course, uh, National Chief of the Canadian Congress of Aboriginals, uh, a respected position at the time, and uh, obviously had some profile in that role. The Conservatives have been calling for Senate reform for years, but only recently referred it to the Supreme Court. Even with a majority, Parliament hasn't debated it in almost a year. You could push this right through if you wanted to. Why haven't you done that? Well, the nature of uh, Senate reform, a change to one of our democratic institutions, makes it a spot where we're not terribly comfortable using time allocation or something like that uh, to shove it through. We think it should be allowed uh, the proper debate. Brazo and two other senators, conservative Mike Duffy and liberal Mac Harb, are being investigated by an outside accounting firm for questionable living expenses. After repeatedly calling for nothing short of the abolition of the Senate, the NDP now says it's open to transitional change. Any kind of reasonable reform, if it has uh, provinces on side and if we have a sense that Canadians uh, like the reform, but the reform would be a, a transition to, to abolition, frankly. Any significant changes would require the provinces to sign off, but public pressure is mounting to do something to make senators more accountable. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa. Let's bring in our chief political correspondent, Tom Clark. Tom, where do things go from here for Senator Brazo? Well, Robin, we should be clear on one thing. Patrick Brazo has indeed been charged with some very serious offenses, but he has not yet been tried or convicted on any of them. But the Conservatives aren't waiting around for any due process. They passed their own judgment on him, and because they have a majority in the Senate, here's what's going to happen. He will be stripped of his privileges as a senator. He won't be able to take his seat in the chamber, have an office, use Senate resources. He'll be denied travel privileges, but he'll keep his salary of more than $132,000 a year. And unless he's convicted of a crime that carries at least a two-year prison sentence, he can continue to do nothing in the Senate and collect his pay for the next 35 years. That's more than $7 million and a big fat pension to boost. So, Tom, what is the political fallout from all of this for Prime Minister Harper? Well, because Stephen Harper has made an astonishing 58 appointments to the Senate, he wears a lot of this muck. Appointing Brazo was a huge mistake by Harper, and many people knew it at the time. But look, the Conservatives are ragging the puck on Senate reform. They're simply not serious about it. The last time they even brought it up for debate in the House was more than a year ago. But given the gong show that the Senate has become, the government may want to stiffen its spine a little bit and get on with it.